Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the X-ray of the hip joint. This is the AP view of the hip joint. Here we can see in the midline these are the lumbar spines. These are the lumbar vertebrae, and this is your hip bone. This hip bone is containing the three parts. This is the ilium, this is the ischium, and this is the pubis. And in mid in the midline we can see this black line. This is the symphysis pubis. Then posteriorly we have this is the sacrum. and this articulation this is your sacroiliac joint then on the lateral side we can see this is the hip joint here we can see this is the acetabular cavity and in this we have the head of femur then lateral to the head of femur we have this neck of the femur at the neck of the femur we can see this black colored triangular area this is known as ward's triangle this is made up of cancellous bone and it is found in the neck of the femur then on the inferior aspect of the neck we can see this bright white line this is denoting the calcar femoral which is formed of the compact bone similarly on the upper aspect of the neck this is known as the cervical torus which is again the compact bone then on the lateral side this is the greater trochanter and here is the lesser trochanter then this is the shaft of femur then we can see the chantons line the chantons line can be defined as the upper margin of the obturator foramen so this is the obturator foramen and this is the upper margin of the obturator foramen and the inferior margin of the neck of femur so this curved line so obtained is your chantons line in the case of dislocation of the hip joint this curved line is deranged so this is used for the diagnosis of the uh, displacement of the hip joint 